Hey there, Kawa here. So, uh, let's take a look at this week's events. Uh, I'm on vacation and I literally just woke up, so I haven't looked at any of these yet. So, let's take a browse through these events and see um, what's happening. Right? So, already we can see that uh, Shikamaru is Chunin is finally getting his breakthrough. Uh, that clearly is his skill book, not his experiment. So... Yeah, but it's still very good. Uh, I prefer that he gets ex experiment, but uh, nothing. Nobody's getting their experiments these days. But uh, yeah, because the experiment makes it so that uh, his mystery changes to that uh, one where he gives chakra to. Uh, what does it become? Oh, uh, lowers uh, cooldown by one for one of your units, and then uh, one of his chase. I believe the uh, repulse the knockdown one, the one where he does the he throws the knife and um, with the shadow stitching, that uh, increases the enemy's cooldown by one. But hey, we don't have the experiment, so it's not even worth talking about. Uh, but uh, his skill booked ones, I believe his immobile chase shreds resistance. I remember something like that. And then uh, his chakra, uh, his mystery that gives chakra, it gives chakra and it gives a shield to people. And his buff, where he um, buffs uh, secret users, uh, it also buffs critical. I definitely know that was for sure. So he's a fun support unit that you could consider using, but uh, not that amazing until he gets his. Uh, you know, experiments, but uh, I'll take a look into it. I definitely have like 300 plus frags of him sitting around. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, once tomorrow comes around, I will probably do his experiments. Oh, nice experiments. His breakthroughs, and um, I'll let you guys know. Uh, so, this week's strong units are uh, Sasuke, Susano. Um, don't know why, we just had him. Uh, but whatever, I don't mind. Um, I think I'm going to be like 50 frags away from 5 starring him. So, yeah, I don't mind. Uh, okay, we have Renegon Sasuke again. Uh, for those who want him. He's not bad. Like, I understand people are upset that he doesn't, air quotes, live up to the hype. But there was really no hype behind him like that. And you have to understand that he plays more as a move 2 than a move 1. He... Like, I don't know, I, I, I get conflicting answers from people. People are telling me that their Sasuke is not tanky. My move to Sasuke is very tanky, and he can change uh, the tides of battle simply just by being there. Because, you know, the random chaos randomly is very, very detrimental to your enemies. So, yeah. But do understand that he is definitely... Well, not definitely, but he's primary role is to play a secondary DPS and support. He doesn't really play the role of the primary DPS, but he can. But, you know, his DPS is not that high, so I just want to make sure everyone understands that. Uh, we have Edo Itachi again. Um, which is weird. We just had a recharge one for him. So, are they going to let him be coupons? I wonder? Um... Or maybe they're going to put him in a wheel somewhere. But yeah, for those people who want Edo Itachi and... Well, yeah, who wants Edo Itachi, who can afford him. Because, But, you know, I guess if he's coupon available for, you know, for those people who can afford him, should probably get him because, you know, the last one was a recharge. Um, I personally prefer the recharge one, obviously, if you can afford it because, you know, you're not really spending those ingots to get him he just recharged so he's technically free in a way but yeah um if you saw my video from yesterday you would have seen the monster that is <laughs> itachi uh i'm not sure do you guys interested or not but i could do a video where i show you what a um he rules in around my power does <laughs> when he fires at me uh, and i have an itachi uh i can tell you it's kind of funny <laughs> because he doesn't actually hurt anymore if you have Itachi so for those people who I guess really hate Edo Hiruzen uh, Itachi might be a thing to look into and then obviously we have Edo Hiruzen here um, nothing we're going to say here about Edo Hiruzen because you know we've seen him enough we know what he does 
Uh, but for me, I think I'm like eight frags short of four starring him. So I'll probably just pick it up depending where he is. All right, so let's talk about the events. Uh, Sukiyomi, nothing to see here. So this is their last week of the Infinite Sukiyomi. So they're going to try to get people to spend or to recharge. So let's see what we got. We got the recharge wheel. Okay, uh, Edohashi Rama is in the wheel, apparently. So Itachi is clearly not here, it's just Edohashi Rama. Uh, we have what, the Lucky Feast. I usually don't buy much from here, it's um, only like cave keys if I feel like I'm short. Uh, I sometimes buy it here. Like, you know, the one when they have the ultimate essence up for grabs, the raffle. I'll buy, like, one pack of cave keys or something, just so I put my chances in for that raffle. I want it once, and that's about it. <laughs> but I don't always do it, so, yeah. Uh, arena training. I wonder are they putting Shikamaru's books in here? They did it last time. Well, they put somebody's books in here last time. Um... I wonder if they're going to do it again. That'd be nice of them. But, you know, even though I have like 300 frags of Shikamaru, I don't think I can get all his books because he has like a book for every goddamn one of his skills. So, it'd be nice if they put some books in here. Ah, there's a total spending rebate. So, I suspect Itachi is in here. <laughs> uh, uh, because there's no way that they're going to... Actually, that's kind of dumb. Why would you put it, him in here? Because... If you have the ability to spend, you would have recharged for the Itachi. Right? I'm not crazy, right? Uh, but... Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe... Maybe Sasuke's in here? No, that wouldn't make sense. Actually, no, that, that actually wouldn't make sense. Because you would have recharged for Itachi, and then you will spend for Sasuke. That would make more sense. But... It's probably still Edo Itachi in here. Uh, the food sacks, nothing here to talk about. Uh, I mean, it's a core gift, why I call it food sacks. Um, I don't know, uh, maybe if you guys are lucky, they'll put Itachi in here, and then you guys can fight over it, and whoever gets that first place can get the ultimate essence. I personally don't really do this event. Uh, I only did it like once recently, and that was for the Killer Bee, uh, Eight Tails Jin Shiriki. Uh, outside of that, I don't really do this event. Um, but, yeah, uh, there's a good chance Itachi could be in here if they feel, if they're feeling generous, uh, or clearly Sasuke's in here. Unless, you know, there's, well, there's more events, so, yeah. Uh, uh, who else is here? Well, uh, Sasuke Renegade, not Sasuke Susanoo. Susanoo is probably somewhere else randomly. He's probably, like, a random side event that, you know, costs off his frags. Uh, the Froggy, uh... The froggy is great. Um, do the froggy. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Uh, if you can afford to do the froggy, uh, make sure to do the froggy. It gives you a nice rebate. Uh, you get to the highest tier one and the lowest tier one. Those are the ones that give you back coupons for your investment. And it gives you back a huge chunk of your invest. It gives you multiple times of your investment back. So, a very good event. For, you know, obviously those who can afford it. Alright, let's see. Uh, Lucky Snatch. We have... I here for Farikage. So I know that Oasis has been very good about it and not putting like the weekly strong ninjas into these, like, you know, they take the popular ones into the wheel. Like, at least not the newer ones. So I highly doubt uh, Itachi's in this lucky snatch. It's more than likely that. There is like Sasuke Susanoo frags like floating around in there. Because I don't, I really highly doubt they're going to put Renigan or um, Edo Itachi in here. Because, you know, they've been pretty good about it. So I hope they keep that track record. Uh, Konoha Outlets. Um, yeah, seeing as I do not know what's in here at the moment, um, I can't tell you <laughs> what to buy or not. But uh, usually there's something decent. In here, like for power, um, if you're interested in it, obviously pick it up. But I personally like to wait for Fukumaru weeks before I do huge amount of spending, unless you know the spending rebate has something ridiculous in there. So 
yeah, this is probably something I'm wanting to skip unless they have something that really piques my interest, but doubt it. Unless they put, like, bald these frags in here. They put bald these frags in here. I'll definitely go for it. <laughs> I need to four star him. Because he, his skill changes slightly when he has four stars. Uh, he gets a, a counter attack after he mysteries. So, um, after he mysteries during that turn, anyone who attacks him, he'll counter attack them. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I don't know if they're going to sell us his frags anytime soon. So, there's that. Um, I'm scrolling down. I just saw this. Uh, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> Remark: If you don't obtain the word card after scratching, please something shadow region. Um, what? <laughs> Should, shouldn't it just be please contact customer service? Is customer service the shadow region now? Uh, or. Or am I... Yeah, or... Oh, wait, wait, wait. It, it's probably, please clear all shadow regions. Okay, okay. So, I'm, I'm just dumb. <laughs> uh, Alright, ignore that. Uh, moving down, moving down. Uh, limited charm rebate. Uh, nothing really to say here. If you have the amount to do the, the rebate, go for it. Um... If you can't do it the full 1,000, you should at least do the 500. Uh, if you can't do neither, then don't do it. Save your charms and wait for the next one. Because you're losing out on free stuff if you don't, you know, hit the full rebates. I know a lot of people are very impatient, but yeah, you really have to wait if you want to get goodies. So you should just wait um, another month if you miss this one and um, get the free stuff from the charm rebate. It's, you know, it's not a lot, but, you know, it adds up over time, so it's best to just wait it out. Uh, activity bag, uh, nothing to really see here. Um, it's really for the newer servers and uh, weaker pe uh, like, not weaker, <laughs> the newer players, because it gives you, like, the basic stuff, like the refines, the cultivations, the cheapy Makatamas. Yeah, it gives you things that, like, newer players can use. Um, not really for us, you know, long-time players. But hey, I always like free stuff, so I don't really complain. Okay, time limited shop. The so we have two spendings and technically two recharge events because I'm technically counting uh, the Sukiyomi. So in this nice spending event here, we have the Susano frags. Okay, so Sasuke Susano is clearly here. So did they really put Renegon Sasuke into the lucky snatch? Or, you know, Edo Itachi, because that's not a good look. Um, yeah, one of them has to be in there then. Um, it's a 50-50 coin flip. I want to say that it's probably Itachi, and Sasuke is on the spending then. Because, like I said, it doesn't make sense that, you know, this week was recharge for Itachi, and the next week is not spend for Itachi. It's like, uh, if I recharged or <laughs> you know to spend i had to recharge right <laughs> unless you know they're going for the people who recharge like enough to get like i don't know like 60 frags or something and then you're missing frags so you, they'll make you spend for it like that's a possibility i guess yeah that's a possibility i guess but you know for those people who are who are, are on the ropes about getting itachi to the recharge uh, it was a double recharge week because you know you got the Itachi and then you also got the one uh, the welfare every day of the week so it was actually a double well it technically is a triple recharge because we count the Tsukiyomi too so yeah if you want an Itachi this week was the best one where you know you had the three rebates happening at the same time but anyways uh Guy's Tortoise, yeah, um, for those people who don't have King of Hell, Gamariki, or anything, Guy's Tortoise is a summon that you should probably pick up. Uh, for those who like to play Chaos Water like I do, Guy's Tortoise is something you should also pick up because it's the only summon that can hit cross team. So when you're in like a 2v2 or a 3v3, uh, the Tortoise can Chaos people on other teams too, outside of your primary target. So, yeah, um... 
Chaos Warrior should be looking into it, or people who don't have the King of Hell or the Gamariki. Uh, okay, so Hiruzen is here too. So, I guess I'm going to pick up. Well, I'm, depending on the prices, obviously. I'm probably going to pick up the Hiruzen frags, finish the uh, 4 star Hiruzen first, because I need 50 frags of Sasuke. So, I'll. I'll see what the spending event is before I decide what to do, but yeah, I highly doubt I'm gonna get 50 frags of Sasuke through this event. Uh, there's an explosive heart gift pack. Um, this is you know obviously the one with Kakuzu and Deidara. So I know a lot of people are just like, oh, we should keep getting Kakuzu and you know wait out for his skill breaks. But I'm just gonna say it now for those people who do that. Um, don't keep your hopes up because we might never ever see that Kakuzu break, and this will be a terrible investment. Um, Daydora will probably get his breaks before Kakuzu does, so yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, but yeah, if you if you want to collect it, you know, obviously go for it. But I feel like there's better things. Uh, okay, and then we have also the charm pack. Um, that's clearly one of the better things because I highly doubt everyone has maxed out all their charms already. Um, yeah, so the charm pack is always good. Um, oh yeah, and then uh, moving on, I forgot that we're at the end of the month already. Uh, so next year, which is January, our unit is Konohamaru Shippuden. Damn, if I knew it was going to be this, I would have never had... Wait, how did I get my Konohamaru Shippuden frags? I think it was a random event. And I spent like... Did I spend anything? I don't remember. Uh, I hope I didn't. Because if I remember, if I knew this was coming... I would have never spent. But whatever. Uh, I'll add it to my collection and maybe up a star or something. But uh, yeah, this is the event for the week. Um... Um, depending on the prices, I don't know if they're able to convince people to spend on this Infinite Tsukiyomi. Like, people that who are on the wall about it, I don't think this week is strong enough to force people to recharge. Unless this Shinobi wheel is ridiculous. Uh, outside of that, I don't think that they're able to convince people. Actually, I know. If they really wanted to convince people, this spending rebate... This... Rebate will have both Renegon Sasuke and Edo Itachi. <laughs> if it had both of them, that would definitely force people to recharge. But then, you know, then you're gonna upset the non spending players because they can't get it. But at the same time, you, the non spending player wasn't gonna get it anyways, even if there's one ninja here only. So, yeah. <laughs> so, if um, they really wanted to push people to recharge, Shove two ninjas in here. Easy. Easy solutions. Alright, anyways, this is the video, guys. Alright, till next time. Have fun.